stay. Just stay there. All right, hello, welcome to another close-up video. Today we're going to be looking at one of my favourites, and I'm just going to be going over uh, what I do and don't like about it. There isn't much that I don't like about it, because it's one of my favourites. Um, so yeah, yeah, let's have a nice little uh, close-up look. Let's have a nice little close-up look at you as well. There she is. <laughs> there she is. God, you're heavy. All right, okay, let's take a little look. Um, so the thought process behind this one was just, I wanted to do something with yellow, brown, and orange. It's always been one of my favorite um, color schemes. I thought, yeah, I really need to do something with those colors. And because it's my favorite colors and I wanted it to look cool and everything, I didn't really go out of my uh, safety zone. I kind of just stuck to what I knew. So there's a lot of, uh, <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that I do all the time. You know, I've got the uh, shaving cuts, little bits of tissue of blood, uh, lots of cigarettes, but I think these are particularly good, good ones. I think this is the first time I did that with the tobacco breaking out of the cigarette. I think that's the first time I thought of that because I draw them all the time and I was thinking, now how can I, um, you know, how can I make them look a bit, look a little bit different now and stuff? Because uh, it's getting a bit repetitive. And um, yeah, so I thought, oh, that's quite cool. That sort of varies it up a little bit. And then that one being held together with a safety pin was a cool idea. Um, and you think I would have repeated that a lot in other drawings just because it was a cool idea. But um, I haven't. I think this is the only one. And then there's a lot of ears as well. I like doing my ears with earrings and stuff. That's a nice big, fat, gloopy, chunky ear. Looks really good. Um, again, that's a nice one as well. I love these colours from uh, you get from the Posca paint pens. If you don't know, it's uh, mentioned them a hundred times, but if you don't know, it's these ones. Really good. Um, yeah, I think that was the first time I did the tobacco breaking out of the cigarette because then I thought, oh, I should do it with a little spliff as well. So I had a uh, little bit of weed sticking out of the joint. What else do I like? Another little cigarette. I like the face on this orange guy. I like that. Uh, you got. Um, now how can I explain this? So like if, I, if I just zoom in on that, if you forget about that eye there, that looks like a face, doesn't it? With two eyes and then the teeth. And then if you uh, get rid of that one, that kind of looks like a face with two eyes and teeth. And then you've got that one. Again, that's obviously just a face and that just works as an eye on its own. But it also works as an eye on its own with the mouth. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, I mean that works. Those two big eyes with the two buck teeth over there. I like that you can do that, man. You can do that with quite a lot of my um, drawings. It's usually, well it is, it's completely unintentional. And then when I look at it later, I'm like, oh yeah, that's cool. Mouthful of, uh, mouthful of cigarettes. That was a nice idea. I just love this one, it's just my favourite colour scheme, it looks really cool, it's got all my usual tropes, it's got, you know, the ears, shaving cuts and cigarettes and a zitty chin. I like doing bumpy, gross looking chins. Uh, yeah. With <laughs> the little puby whiskers. There's some nice drippage going on as well. I just think I did a good job. Um, as I always say, I don't want to suck my own cock too loudly, but I just it's one of my favourites, I think it looks really cool. So yeah, there you go, there's a nice little close-up on that. One of my all-time faves. Did a good job.